So I've just created a universal TV remote firmware for the, the card computer. It's called TVB Mine. So it's just a universal TV remote. Um, so it has a long list of IO commands for a large number of TVs available. And it just send all the signals for the different commands. So if we go to press C, it will actually show the list of all the commands available that I've put in. The first one is OK, which is just power. Um, if you want to stop any of the signals getting transmitted, we just want to press reset and let's go back to the, the start again. Uh, go right, is volume up. Left is volume down. Up is channel up. Down is channel down. M is for mute. B, if you press it, it's just different levels of brightness for the display. Um, we've got another function which is S, so that's just a sniper mode. So instead of sending it through the internal IR, it will send it to pin G2. Um, if you want to connect up like the IR sniper that I've created, um, I'll put a link to the, the DIY video I've got for it if you want to try and make one. So all the S does is it just will toggle between the internal IR and to pin 2. Um, the next function we have is P. So we press P. It's a power prank. So what this is doing at the moment is sending all the IR signals for power. Um, once that's completed, it'll put a three minute timer on. And then once that three minute timer is on, it will just send the IR signals again for power. So it's just a continuous loop. So if you leave it on, essentially it will turn on the TV, turn off the TV, turn on the TV. R is for random prank. So this one will send a list of IR commands that I've just put together. It might be like channel up, channel up, mute, um, volume down, volume up. Um, it's just a random sort of selection of IR codes I've put in. Um, and it does the same thing. So once that's completed, it'll do a three minute timer and it'll send the same signals again in a loop. Um, the next one we've got is H. So this is high volume. So this will send um, the volume IR signals. Um, I've set it so it sends 50 repeats of it. So this one takes a long time to do. It's around seven minutes from start to finish. So depending on where your TV lies within the IR uh, signal list, it might take three minutes or could take, you know, the seven minutes. Um, and that will essentially try to put your volume up to the max. And the opposite of that, we've got L for the low volume. So it's the same thing and it takes around seven minutes as well. And the last function is um, if you press J, this will put on it in jamming mode. And I've just put it on, set it to 30 minutes. So it'll do it for 30 minutes and then it'll just stop. Um, to get the jamming mode to work, when I've tested it, it doesn't really work very well unless it's pretty close to the TV. So it's pretty, it's got to be pretty much close to the TV and pointed to where the IR receiver is and it should jam any um, remote signals from the remote, the TV remote. So yeah, that's it there. Um, I'll try to get it published on M5 Burner. I've put it on already, but I don't know how long the process takes to actually load in and make it available. So keep an eye out on that. Um, and once you, if you've um, been able to flash it onto your card computer and it works, leave a comment um, in this video and just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.